the beautiful, for the only, Ghostbusters. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're highlighting all the reasons why 1989's Ghostbusters 2 is a strong sequel in the franchise and doesn't deserve its bad reputation. Yet I think that perhaps you and I could learn to love each other. Yes. The stakes are raised. It's fair to say that Ghostbusters 2 raises the stakes fairly significantly from its predecessor. The danger feels more urgent this time around, creating an increased sense of looming tension that drives the story forward. Somebody get me the Ghostbusters. Each character is given their own unique challenges to conquer also. With the team being sued by the government for the destruction caused in the first film, it splits them up. You know, my dad says you guys are full of crap. Jason, well, some gosh. people have trouble believing in the paranormal. No, he just says you guys are full of crap and that's why you went out of business. Placed back at square one, they're forced to question everything. But when paranormal events resurface in New York, our heroes must find a way back together in order to save their beloved city from some pretty major supernatural threats. She said she was going to the museum to get the baby back, and then there was an eclipse and the whole town went dark, and everybody's nuts. It all fits. And when they inevitably do, it's clear each has grown as individuals, making them stronger as a team. So with increased public skepticism, personal strife, and plenty of internal turmoil, the Ghostbusters had plenty of challenges to overcome before they could even tackle the film's big bad. Which brings us to a formidable villain. Central to any good sequel, scratch that, central to any good movie is the presence of a worthy antagonist. And Ghostbusters 2 most certainly does not have a villain problem. What was will be, what is will be no more. Now is the season of evil. Evil? In fact, Vigo the Carpathian stands as one of the most iconic big screen baddies of all time. A powerful 16th century sorcerer trapped in a museum painting, Vigo serves as a truly intimidating threat. Well, that's Vigo. Please. Mr. Vigo! Uh, Biggs, please. Would you look this way, please? No, don't. No! Hey, no! Show me something. No! Right, Mr. Vigo. No photographs, please! Slides are available in the gift shop. Using malevolent manipulations, Vigo attempts to possess a child in order to be reborn so he can rule the world. <laughs> it's quite the sinister plan, one made all the more effective thanks to those who brought the sorrow of Moldavia to life. Hold it right there, deadhead! We say those because it was a team effort. You see, while Wilhelm von Homburg played Vigo, his voice was dubbed in by the legendary Max von Sydow. The result is pure epic evilness that undoubtedly gave 80s kids plenty of sleepless nights. Supporting characters shine. Many say that 1984's Ghostbusters is a perfectly cast film, and it's hard to argue with that, as everyone plays their part to perfection. There's something very strange about that man. If only we got to see more of them. Well, Ghostbusters 2 gives everyone, including the supporting cast, ample time to shine. Ghostbusters. I ain't of ghosts. Yes, we're back. Characters like Louis Tully and Janine Melnitz are given greater prominence, while Sigourney Weaver's Dana is once again central to the story. Speaking of Dana, her boss at the museum, Dr. Janos Poha, is an absolute scene stealer. A child? Played by the terrific Peter McNichol, the eccentric character adds a wonderful layer of zany fun to the proceedings. Yes! Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Of course, there is one character in particular who rightfully got a bigger share of the spotlight this time around. Winston gets his due. Introduced in the middle of the original film, Winston Zedmore was unfortunately given limited screen time. Do you believe in UFOs, astral projections, mental telepathy, ESP, clairvoyance, spirit photography, telekinetic movement, full trance mediums, the Loch Ness Monster, and the theory of Atlantis? Uh, if there's a steady paycheck in it, I'll believe anything you say. Ghostbusters 2 corrects this, however. Now a full-fledged member of the team, Winston isn't the new guy learning the ropes anymore. In fact, he's a principal part of the group who plays an important role from the get-go. There's something strange in the neighborhood. Who you gonna call? 
And aside from his passable singing chops, we get to witness Winston's impressive work ethic and stellar comedic timing. Always the quiet ones. Fans can thank Ghostbusters 2 for bringing Winston to the forefront, and we can thank Ernie Hudson for his charm-filled performance. Hello? The comedy lands. Oh, it's you. <laughs> okay, but I didn't know you had your license. Balancing out the on-screen frights is plenty of the signature wit and humor that made the original film so beloved. You mean you never even had a slinky? We had part of a slinky, but I straightened it. We're not here to tell you which film is funnier, but rather that Ghostbusters 2 has no dearth of laugh-out-loud moments. Of course, when you have a cast stacked with comedy heavyweights like Dan Aykroyd, Harold Ramis, and Bill Murray, the comedy will flow effortlessly. It looks like a giant jello mold. I hate jello. Oh, come on, there's always room for jello. And while our core heroes retain their excellent comedic chemistry, the supporting cast also gets plenty of instances to tickle our funny bones. You're very good with children. Thanks, I practiced on my hamster. Uh -huh. From Lewis and Janine's makeout session while babysitting to Venkman's hilariously odd World of the Psychic TV show taping, there are countless comedic moments throughout the film. That's all the time we've got for this week on World of the Psychic. Next week, though, give me Ira. Hairless pets. Weird. Heck, even Slimer gets in on the laughs this time around. Oh, I smell like somebody took a big. Unique story elements. We're not gonna lie, Ghostbusters 2 has its fair share of silly and contrived moments. Well, better late than never. It's also heavily criticized for how similar it is to the original. Luckily, amid all the familiar plot beats can be found some truly intriguing concepts that expand upon the world established in the first film. I think we hit the honeypot. There's something brewing under the street. I've got 1118 on the PKE. 2.5 GEVs on the Geiger meter. Well, what does that mean? For starters, the idea of negative psychic energy fueling paranormal activity on the streets of New York City makes for a smart twist on traditional ghostly encounters. The underground river of slime was a slime metaphor for all the negative hostility bubbling beneath the surface of major cities like New York, especially in the 1980s. The film also explores welcome themes around redemption and the power of positivity. Let me tell you something. I love you. Yes? Yeah. Well, I love you too. <laughs> Plus, with a festive holiday setting and the climax coinciding with New Year's Eve, it doubles as a great holiday movie. Yup, we'd argue there's more than enough originality on display in Ghostbusters 2 to set it apart. More action. You know what they say, if you're gonna make a sequel, you gotta go bigger. And Ghostbusters 2 did just that, not only offering up plenty of action throughout, but delivering it on a larger scale than its predecessor. The results are all quite memorable. The courtroom scene alone is one of the most fun, not to mention suspensefully startling sequences in any film. And seeing our heroes use the Statue of Liberty to crash through the slime-covered museum bubble to save Dana and her baby was as big of a silver screen spectacle as they get. And hey, it wouldn't be an 80s flick if there wasn't a sweet action montage. Chill on your spine, your heart fills with fright, not filled by the things that go up in the night. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. The first Ghostbusters will always be a supernatural comedy classic that, in all likelihood, will never be topped. Are you a god? No. Then. Yeah. But 
it's also fair to say that Ghostbusters 2 stands as a worthy sequel. Successfully maintaining the charm of its predecessor, the movie managed to introduce exciting new elements, not to mention an all-time iconic villain. And with memorable action sequences, plenty of humor, and clever themes, Ghostbusters 2 has earned its place as an admirable part of the celebrated franchise. Early Renaissance, I think. Raphael or Piero della Francesca? <laughs> no, I believe it's one of the Fettuccinis. Are you a fan of Ghostbusters 2? What's your favorite part of the movie? Don't be afraid to cross the streams in the comments below. Two in the box! Ready to go! We be fast and they be slow! Wow! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.